the Penguin Modern Collection and the Penguin Little Black Classics. Now, I've already done a video on the Penguin Modern Collection. This one's a little different. I want to talk about the differences and similarities between these two collections. And I'll have other videos about individual books in the collections, but, and, and, may, and, and, and maybe I'll do one on this collection as itself, but I just, I wanna talk about the differences and particularly because I saw a, uh, a YouTube video that talked about these in a way that I thought wasn't really accurate. And so I, I thought, oh, well, I've made mistakes in my YouTube videos too, but I wanna to try to correct that um, by coming here today. So I, <laughs> I think I'm right about this, and so let me jump in and, and, and do what I'm talking about. Okay, so first of all, some of the similarities. Uh, both sets have books of the same dimensions, which are these little, little bitty books. Each book in each series has, I don't know, 45 to 60 pages, something like that, hovering around 50 pages. Paperback. And... Um, then the Little Black Classics are, as you might have guessed, black, and the Penguin Modern are this sort of teal. I'm not the best person to talk about colors. My daughter laughs at me all the time about that. Okay, um, okay. so what's going on here? The, the Penguin Modern isn't, first of all, not the Penguin Modern Classics, but the Penguin Modern. It's different. So the Penguin Modern Classics are not these, and they are books that the Penguin editors feel, works that the Penguin editors feel uh, are, are modern classics, writers in the last hundred years or so who have produced works that they feel are, are, you know, are important. And this series, the Penguin Modern series, takes those writers and finds works that they can put into, complete works that they can put into a small edition like this. In other words, it's about the writers that are in, or in the Penguin Modern Classics series. It is not about the works that are in the Penguin Modern Classics series, for example. Steinbeck, uh, gosh, I can't remember which book he has in the Penguin Modern Classics, but the point is, it's not this. <laughs> okay, oh, it must be Of Mice and Men. It, it, maybe they have more than one, but at least Of Mice and Men is in the Penguin Modern Classics. When you, when you look at your Penguin Modern series, it has the same author, Steinbeck, but this is a series of short stories by that author, okay? Complete works, complete works on their own by Steinbeck. So uh, what it isn't is a chapter or a snippet of Of Mice and Men so that you can get a, you know, an idea of, my, of, of that book. That is not what this is. This is the same author, a different work. Shinwa Achebe, his book in the Modern Classics series is Things Fall Apart. And this is not that. This isn't a selection from Things Fall Apart. It is four separate works. I haven't read this one, uh, so I don't actually know, but I'm guessing that they are essays. Okay, four separate works by his. And by the way, Things Fall Apart is such a great book. Everyone should read it. Okay. Uh, you know, look, I, I, how many examples do we need? MLK, this is, not, this is not what's in the modern classics series. This is the same author. So what this series does is it takes the authors in the modern classics series and presents us with other works by them, complete works by them. And so for the most part, let's say you owned every single modern classics book, this series will give you more from the same author. It's not gonna be repeating for the most part. There are one or two, I noticed that Audre Lorde, one of her essays in here is also in uh, the modern classics work. But generally these are, the, this is highlighting the authors and giving you new works by those authors, okay? So that, and there are 50 of them. There are 50, they printed 50, and they're out. Okay, that's that. Then we have the Little Black Classics here, okay? 
it's completely different. It's a different philosophy. So we have the Penguin Classics series of books, which is, I don't know, I mean, hundreds and hundreds of books, I think. And this is a set of the Little Black Classics. First of all, I should say that they, that they started out with 80, and so there are 80 of these, but since this came out, this box set came out, there are now another, um, I don't know, 30 or something like that, 40, I don't know, something like that. So depending on when you see this video, there might be more. So I don't know if you're a completist and you wanna have every single one, I'm not. So I don't really care. I'm not gonna go hunting down the rest of them. But in any case, uh, there's, there's this set. So what is going on here? Well, from those Penguin classics, of which there are many, 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 They've got these 80 books where they give you a taste of that actual classic, of that work that is in the Penguin Classic. So we have this Jonathan Swift. Well, there is a Penguin Classics book of Jonathan Swift's writing, which includes A Modest Proposal. All right, we have, uh, this is Darwin. So this, this section is taken from The Voyage of the Beagle, which is a separate, a full book. Uh, the Voyage of the Beagle is a full book. It's one of the Penguin uh, classics, and this Penguin Little Black Classic takes a section from that book. This is not a complete standalone thing, okay? Uh, at least I think it's from Voyage of the Beagle. It's, it's interesting because it, these, there's not a lot of discussion here. You just open the, page, you open the book and you're, you're right in it, um, maybe somewhere. Uh, yeah, okay, so it says from the Beagle's momentous, from momentous voyage, all right? Um, all right, well, obviously, Chaucer's uh, classic book is the Canterbury Tales, and this is a selection from that. Okay, it's a complete chapter, but it's, it's a piece of that. Anyway, this goes on and on. Samuel Pepys' diary. Uh, this is from one of the classics for Tolstoy. I think he's got a few but is a selection of stories, and these are, you can find these stories in that classic. Um, uh, you know, I'm not even sure with this. The, the name of it makes me think it's from the Pickwick Papers, but the truth is I, I haven't read this one, I'm not really sure. And Boccaccio, this one comes from the Decameron, which is a Penguin classic. So can you see what I'm getting at here? These are about the works. These are about the authors. In fact, to such an extent that this one has at least three anonymous works, okay? We don't even know who wrote them. They're anonymous. It's about the works themselves. So if the work made it into the classics, the, the Penguin classics, then you might find that work or a piece of that work. Some, some of these are, you know, like it's a whole short story, but the point is it's a short story that appears in a longer work in the Penguin classics. Okay, so it's not all like, oh, I'm just getting a chapter. Sometimes you're getting a, a whole short story or several short stories, but those are short stories that appear in the Penguin Classics. Okay, in other words, if you had all the Penguin Classics, which would be an amazing thing, then you, this would be completely 100% superfluous. You would already have these things, okay? Whereas if you had all the Penguin Modern Classics, this would still be new material for the most part. Not 100%, but for the most part, this would be new material. These are other sections, complete works by the writers that you already got. This is pieces of the classic works that you already own. Or as I say, it could be a complete short story or a complete essay or something, something like that. But the point is it, 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 it already exists in a, in, a, in a book that collects that along with other stuff. Okay, and that is the difference. So for me, it took me a long time to decide to get this because I've already got a lot of those works. Um, maybe not in Penguin Classics, but I've got them in other things. I mean, let's just say the, the Canterbury Tales. I've got the Canterbury Tales. I've got the Decameron. Uh, so do I really need this little piece of it? I have to say it has been really cool, though. Sometimes you don't want to pick, I don't know, you pick up the whole book. If I want to read The Wife of Bath, it is actually nicer to get this little bitty Thing. It's so easy to hold. It feels nice in your hand. And just to read it from here, then to go get my sort of chunky everyman's Chaucer. Um, yeah, so it's nice. Look, I have, I have uh, some Shakespeare. In, I've got the big old, big old Shakespeare that's like this. It's got it all. But then I've also got little each individual uh, play. 
and it's nice. It's nice to have the little ones. Okay, so I am glad that I got this. Um, you know, it's it's good. Let's see. What is this Homer? I mean, we only have a couple of works from Homer. So, okay. So this is from this is from the Odyssey. I haven't I haven't read a lot of these yet. Uh, so this is obviously taken from the Odyssey. So you know, I've got the Odyssey. I've got I've got too many versions of the Odyssey. Uh, but if I wanted to read this little bit, if I just wanted to get a snippet, you know, I've got an hour. I've got a couple of hours. And I just sort of want to, you know, I just stroll past these books and pick one out and then read it. It's, it's kind of cool. This is the, I remember now, this is the Fagel's, Robert Fagel's translation, which is a pretty good translation. Um, I should talk about the, there's a relatively new translation out, which I haven't read my daughter's reading. Um, but anyway, that's a, <laughs> for another day. Okay. And, and the same here, you know, but uh, uh, so this one I, I knew I wanted because these are, these are works I don't have most of these. I do have some of them. I mean, I've got a collection of Gertrude Stein's work, and so what she's got in here is already in there, and I have, uh, you know, some Georges Simenon. I've got, I've got some other things, but mainly these were new things. Okay, the point is that uh, that's the difference. We have the color difference, <laughs> no size difference, but it's sort of a philosophy, whereas this is about taking out pieces from the, from the classics, the Penguin classics, this is about taking authors from the modern classics and finding works that fit into these books. Okay. They're both really, really cool. Oh yeah, and, and, and a difference again is that they have printed more of these. This box set is not complete, whereas this one is, is complete. If that matters to you, it is not something that matters to me. Okay, Little Black Classics, and the modern series, both of them by Penguin.